Hey everybody, Grinchmob Zero Gaming here. Um, <clears throat> and today I wanted to show you guys a few little secret Easter eggs. Um, I've actually had to record this three times. The funny part is because um, my Xbox just keeps deleting it. So first time's the charm, am I right? So these are the few Easter eggs I found. Sorry, my voice is so flat. I'm just so frustrated from doing this. <laughs> So you want to start the mission 343 Guilty Spark, and as soon as you, I'll give you as two examples, as soon as you get out of the cockpit, you're going to want to throw a grenade to kind of like glitch it, so then you'll fly it up. Yeah, so you, so you don't want to, you want to do it as soon as you land in, or while you're coming down, and that really help. If you can't go back, you'll probably have to restart the mission, but the good part is the cutscene isn't that long. So you'll probably be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're ready to get it. So there we go. Start, and you'll be on your way. Don't shoot the enemies. Though, because if you do, then you'll come out and don't hit whatever action button you have, because that'll also dismount you. Also, while you're flying, there are some safe parts to jump out of, but not all of them are safe to jump out of. And we'll get glitched out of the map, and yeah, enjoy the ride, I guess. I feel like a turt guy. Okay, so. Uh, it won't kick you out sometimes, it'll kick you out automatically, but you just have to press your action button and it'll dismount. After doing so, you're going to want to first enjoy, I guess, uh, looking at like what full hammer, because it's really hard to look, because sometimes her falcon will be like, right off the ground. It kind of helps with the sky being dark, and this, you're going to really want to use your flashlight, and that's pretty much all I can tell you. Um, you can also use mods, but I have actually made a video, and I'll try to link it at the back of this video as soon as I can to, um, show you guys how, and I actually have done it, so you can look, just look up in my videos if you guys want to, on how to see inside a Pelican cockpit without any mods, and that is pretty cool, and I'm the first one to discover that. After so many years, it's kind of funny. Um... Okay, so this actually map is actually kind of cool. It kind of looks like a midwestern tornado, kind of like stormy thing, which I actually think is pretty cool. As you can see, they have nothing here originally, which is kind of sad, but then they did all this work, and it's kind of cool the sky is moving. I mean, I'm sure it didn't take much to do that, but I think it's a really cool improvement, and it really looks beautiful, in my opinion, but you don't really see it because the camouflage is blocking all of it out in the first place, so that's kind of like ironic that they do that just to help the game out and then in the first in the first case like nothing you don't even see in the first place because all the mist so you'll find the marine uh and these trees are actually 2d a lot of them are the only one that's actually like full is the one that the uh, marine's under and he's kind of like face planted into the tree so it's only this one right here this one's a real one. And yep. Yeah. It's not solid though. Do I owe you money? His lips don't move right. It's always gonna be the guy with the fisherman's hat kind of thing. Um it's kinda of funny to look at. Uh he's unwielded and he takes damage pretty well. He's not really scripted to do anything. Um, even if you hit him he doesn't get into like a battle pose. And there's not really any marines you can betray to see if he try and punch you. Um, you can't really push him out of the pose either. So next I'll show you guys the skull and the secret flood. And also I'm just going to take a little stroll back here because um, I highly encourage anybody who just wants to see like outside the map and wants like a little adventure to do this. You might find some actually pretty cool easter eggs out here. So yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a nice way to speed run too. 
If you're fast about it, I'm not, so. <laughs> Uh, how you get to this, like, the real way to the, get to the skull, when you first land, there's gonna be two paths, like, usually you just head right, like, you head straight, but if you go, there's either a right or a left path, and you either want to take one of those, so you're just gonna want to fall off the edge. And then, um, it's really easy to slip around here, too, because there's not really walls. But then, but you just want to slide. Doesn't really matter where you slide, but if you keep walking where land meets the water, eventually you'll find two trees where the skull is. If you guys really want the skull, leave in the comments, and I'll get that like within like 24 hours of video of that uploaded. So yeah, then you find the skull. Um, yeah. So as we see, it's now time for the secret flood. Oh, so back on the falcon. Okay. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Remember, I am a small channel and I'm just starting off. So, so thank you so much um, for liking and subscribing. Just watching this just means a lot. Okay, so we're here. Third time's a charm of saying this, but yeah, you'll find him right where I pass by. He'll be the elite guy, and he will be down there. Um, I don't know how many more there are up here. I think there's only one secret body, but it's really foreshadowing that you're gonna fight Flood. Maybe that's why they put it in there. Maybe like the first person that found this, um, thought like, hey, I'll just, we're gonna fight Flood on this mission. And I bet they didn't know what it was if they found it before they even played. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please comment if you guys like to see any other content besides Halo. We come out with some Minecraft stuff, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Please subscribe and like.